Hello, Klaus here, and welcome back to yet another video here at the channel. In today's video, we are going to have a look into using your smartphone as a camera. And we can do that by adding lenses. And in this video, we're going to have a look at these from Sandmark. Quick disclaimer, this was not sent to me by Sandmark. I did order this by myself. And depending on which phone you have, um, it comes with when you buy a lens, it comes with one of these mobile covers. And, uh, you know, mine is a little older iPhone. This is an iPhone 14 and it's not a Pro, so... And it's pretty easy to install. You just have to put it in here and then just click it in. And now we can screw on the lenses right here, which are kind of cool. So let's just have a quick look at the, the lens here. So first off, comes in this pouch um, and in the pouch we are going to have a clip-on like this little thing here uh, you can put on your smartphone well anyway it's uh, not so usable when you have the cover I think that is more secure and next thing is the lens itself and it comes in this pouch here and this is the 58 millimeter telephoto lens and it's really a solid build I will say built really good um, and it's super simple to apply this to the foam just have to do it with the other hand here so you simply just align it and then just screw it on and now you have a smartphone with a lens on and it's actually pretty heavy as well so it's Pretty good build, I think. And then for whenever shooting, of course, on a cell phone, I would always recommend that you use the Blackmagic camera app, which I have right here. And it has a lot of different features and a lot of different controls. So um, also in the packaging here, it also comes in this uh, carrying case with a carabine on as well, which is kind of cool. So this is a way to make your f iPhone footage uh, a lot cooler, I think. And here I'll just show you some quick test shots I did and I'll talk to you along the way. Okay, so we are going to test out the 58 telephoto lens from Sandmark for the iPhone. And we're just going to do it at home shooting some kind of a product video using a, this can here and some other stuff. And I have no lights, nothing whatsoever. Okay, so let's start to shoot. So we're going to do the first shot here, which is me pouring hot water down in an empty cup. And I'm a one-man band, so I realize that this looks kind of stupid. So uh, I'm using a mold pot here and I need to do like a top shot. And I have no stand because I'm just at home with no gear at all. But, and this normally would be a two-man job, but that's not today. So I'm going to do it like this. Uh, so sorry for the stupidity that this must look like, but I think it's going to work. So I'm just going to use my mouth to keep the <laughs> camera and then uh, let's start to pour. Okay. And let's pour. Okay, so now we have done a bunch of shot for this tea shot commercial with no lights and nothing. And uh, I'm going to just show you the final result, uh, add it in all the post sound and stuff like that. So you can have a look at that right here. Okay, so here in the studio, I'm just testing out the 58 millimeter lens on the Blackmagic camera app. And we're just doing a super simple product shot. Uh, and since I am in the studio, I have way more gear to play around with than the shot I did at home. So I think we are going to do the 
it's shut here. Let's focus. That. I also took the 58mm lens from Sandmark out to do a pretty basic walking shirt like this and uh, I was using the Blackmagic camera app which is a great app to use. I really like that app a lot and uh, I think it was a pretty nice shot. So here you can see the shot is shot in 60 frames a second and the depth of field is very nice on this shot. I think it does give it a little more filmic look I guess you would call that and um, just for comparison here is the same shot shot on the iPhone and you can see that the depth of field aren't as deep as on the Sandmark shot. That was a super quick look at the Sandmark 58mm telephoto lens which is kind of cool if you are on an older iPhone and you don't have all of these um, different options. I think the native here is a 24 millimeter, so it's pretty cool to have this more tight shot you can do. And um, basically it's uh, kind of cool, I think. But what do you think? Do you think that cell phone lenses are a good thing? Or let me hear down in the comments below. Anyway, I do hope you found this little video useful. If you did, please hit that subscribe button, give the video a like, share it with your friends if you think it would help them out. And if you want to be notified every time there is another video here at the channel, please hit that bell icon down in the corner. Until next time, keep filming, keep learning, and keep sharing.